Okay, what's going on boys, girls, and children of the universe that sleep somewhere in between? Today I'm going to be bringing you an invasion in the painted world of Ariandel, more specifically the cosy corner of the Corvian settlement. Um, as you can see, it's quite chilly in here, uh, quite cold, but fortunately I'm wrapped up nice and warm in some of the finest fashion you've ever seen in Dark Souls 3. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm about to set a trend with this delicious look. Um, in this invasion, um, I'm going to be flaunting the effects of the Silver Cat Ring. I'm going to be flaunting the, uh, the amazing power of the Great Bow. And as you can see, the invaders, the invadees, have uh, been experimenting with the power of the Great Bow themselves as they punish me for my celebration of escaping death. Celebrating a narrow escape from death is justified, but as long as it's not in the crosshairs of your killer, be quite foolish and I've learned my lesson for sure. Anyway, as you can see, I'm running around here trying to catch these guys with their pants down, slip the obscuring ring on so they can't see me running around these dark, dingy alleyways of the Corvian settlement and drop a cheeky plunge attack on my skull and end my fun forever. Um, but now I'm thinking as I ascend to the next level of the level, um, I might be able to sneak up behind them fire an arrow, maybe knock them down to the lower level and just separate the party, hopefully deal with the phantoms one at a time. I'm quite foolish here, unfortunately, because I'm expecting for the phantoms to, and the host, hopefully, to be coming round the entrance that I used to get in here. But foolish as I am, I didn't expect for them to use the shortcut that I very rarely unlock in PvE, because the level's a bit too short for you to really need to unlock every single shortcut. Um, so I didn't expect uh, what happened next, and what happened next was the gold phantom appeared, and I noticed he's password summoned. But before I can really get any bearings, I notice that the squad wants to play. They'll pop over that ledge there, and uh, they're ready to play some games with the king. But unfortunately, the king doesn't play games. The king only deals in business transactions, okay fellas? Business only through these doors. Alright guys. Fortunately, I managed to smash a hit in there, get a good look at how narrow her HP bar is, and escape. I uh, did try for a premature drop attack there, I should have waited a few moments and then went down for it. Um, but as you can see, the Gold Phantom was pretty obsessed with that Great Bow, um, even at the most inappropriate range. And as you're about to see, Death kissed me today. Death kissed me right on the lips, and fortunately I was able to escape, although I definitely did not deserve to, given how foolish my double drop attack and double ladder escape was. The first escape... Oh! Well, this is the second drop attack, of course. The first escape was quite um, clever, I guess, because they were all well outside of this doorway, and by the time they'd walked in, I'd be high enough that I'm more or less safe. Uh, but the second one was utterly foolish. What you just witnessed was quite a delicious escape from the heat, um, thanks to the silver cat ring. Um, one escape like that really does is it separates you from the host, it means they don't know where you are. Once you slip on the obscuring ring on a level like this, you can, you know, work your way back in, sneak back in behind them, and then go in for a second round of action. Fortunately, in this case, I don't even need to go that far because these fools start playing on narrow bridges while I'm in town with my great bow. And uh, that should be a cardinal sin when it comes to playing in the Corvian settlement. No narrow bridges while I'm playing with my great bow, okay guys? As you can see, I didn't quite hit that white phantom, but in the background you can see the Golden Fountain King seems to have taken an arrow to the neck, or perhaps the knee if you really want to meme it hardcore, and fell right down from the bridge. Unfortunately, I didn't finish him off. That would have been quite glorious, but, you know, you win some and you lose some, and I think that counts as a win in the end. I separated the party. I can go for the host one-on-one. -on -one. Well, two on one, I guess. Um, but it appears the gold phantom has totally vanished from existence. Um, you know, God bless, uh, God speed as well. You know, have a, have a good time with wherever you are. Um, and I'm poising myself for uh, quite a victory here, as you're about to win this. Um, it's quite glorious. But as you can see, these fellas made a cardinal error by forgetting about the invader, forgetting that I have a great bow, and uh, trying to you know, go on with the PvE on this narrow bridge, and they pay the price. They pay the price, okay, guys? Um, if you're going to be running around playing games on such a narrow bridge, you need to expect to get burned, okay? Uh, so we're going to get another slow-mo of that, the glorious moment. Um, knocking the host off, don't have to deal with either of these fools, either of these fellas with their you know, silly weapons, silly outfits, and uh, silly tactics, if I say so myself. Instant kill on that host, punish these gankers. They won't be messing with me anymore, okay, guys? I think he was destroyed! <laughs>